Hello, my name is Cho. Um, I want to show you my horizontal Langstroth that I uh, built and uh, show you some of the features that I built into it and go over some of the pros and cons with you. And uh, if you decide you want to build one of these or if you're interested, watch my future videos and uh, I will show you how it works in that. Right now I don't have any bees in it. I have it set up as a um, a swarm trap right now and uh, I have some uh, lemongrass in there and I have it uh, narrowed down there's a follower board I have it narrowed down to a five frame and I have a frame feeder in there I'll show you some of the things that I uh, I built into this hive um, I have a couple porches here I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one or not it's just that it's such a long ways for the bees to travel. I thought I'd put another entrance, but it can be ventilation, or I could just open it, have an entrance there for it. But uh, it's there, and it, that way, if I want to use it, I can. Right here is my uh, entrance reducer, and it's just on a couple thumb screws. It's a piece of cedar log. And you just take it off and you can flip it over. There you could have your medium. I could take it right off. I could have it full open. When I cut this, I drilled a couple holes, kicked my saw in an angle, and I have this ramped out. Same with the porch. The porch is ramped to keep water away. This roof overhangs just enough so the rain, it, it doesn't fall right on the porch. And, uh, we get a lot of snow here, and uh, I have a top entrance because uh, there's so much snow and the dead bees and everything. You know, you have this closed down, and it, it's clogged right up. And I don't know if they can make it without a top entrance. So I like to have one in there. Plus, the uh, the ventilation is good too. And speaking of ventilation. I'll show you here what I have on the sides. I have a vent right here, but this right here is a bee escape. And uh, if any of them happen to get caught here, in the top part, you know, it's, it's got these boards here and they're going to be under the boards, but for sure some are going to get up here and you're not going to be able to shoo them all out so they'll be able to get out the escape there okay some of the pros of this type of hive is the storage all the stuff I just store right here I don't have to have all these supers all over now a con is is that this thing is not portable it's very heavy uh, it's made out of 2 by 11s on the side and the roof and all this wood and the frames. It's a very heavy hive. So it's not portable. It's more for the home person who wants to set it up in their yard and leave the hive right there. So, but um, the storage, that is a really nice thing. I don't have to have these boxes all over the place and that. Another nice feature of this over, let's say, a top bar. I could use a queen excluder in there. Some people like them, some don't. I, I'm probably going to give it a try. And it does have a follower board similar to a um, top bar. However, you know, another feature is if you want to use a honey extractor, there you go. You just have traditional frames, easy to get, easy to extract the honey if that's the, the method that you like to use. Uh, these are deep cell, so this holds 32 frames. So it's it's similar to having a, um, an eight frame hive, you know, with uh, two honey supers and four brood chambers or two brood chambers. However, they're deeps, so you know you're gonna you're gonna have a lot more honey on these. They get real heavy when you have uh, honey on a deep, and that's kind of why I like to use the plastic. Uh, 
they could take that weight of that all that honey on the deep. Now another thing you want to think about if you're to build one of these is your it's your bee space. Now bee space is five sixteenths to three eighths of an inch. I have exactly five sixteenths of an inch along the top here, five sixteenths along the side. On the bottom, however, I have three fourths of an inch. They have to travel a long ways through here and some of the traditional langs are off. They, they also have three fourths on the bottom. But uh, I think it's pretty important in this one with the amount of travel that they have to do through the hive. Um, also built in here some ventilation. I have some solid boards and I have some ventilation boards. So if I have too much ventilation or it's particularly cold out, I could just replace this with the solid board. Let me get this camera over here. For feeding, for right, right now, as I stated, I, I have this set up as a, uh, a swarm trap. So I just have uh, a feeder in here in case I get some in here frame feeder and that's how I plan on feeding them in this type of hive. See that's another nice feature of this over a top bar. It's um it's hard to feed them with a top bar. This thing here all the standard equipment works just fine. You know your honey extractor, your, your feeder, your frames. So everything's uh, easy to get in that. It's just uh, <laughs> You pretty much have to custom build one of these. I, there may be some out there on the uh, internet. I'm not sure. I, I've done a lot of research before I built this, and I tried to take a lot of ideas from other people's designs and incorporate them into this hive here. And um, I just wanted to show you this. Maybe you're gonna wanna build one. I'm gonna give updates along here when I get bees in here, if I can't capture a swarm by uh, June, I'll, I'll do a split with one of my other hives and uh, I'll get some bees in here. And uh, I'll go through that with you once the bees are in. It's gonna be so much l less upsetting to the bees when you need to get into part of the box and you just have to take the board off here and you're only exposing a few frames at a time. If I had to get into the bottom brood chamber, I don't have to remove that top box and uh, get them all upset. I could just pull in here. This will be the brood chamber in here. And over here will be the honey supers. Just remove the board. There we go. I could get right to the frames, pull them out. And uh, if I want to man manipulate the uh, chambers in any way, I could just slide the frames over put the other frames where I want them. And uh, it's gonna be a lot less disrupting to the bees. So I've seen a few things on the internet with some of these used. People that have them like them. Uh, there was a guy up in Wisconsin and I guess they winter pretty well. So uh, I will let you know. I'll let you know how it all works out. So watch for other videos. And uh, I'll answer any questions there that you post. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.